Good morning, guys. Had a nice, quiet sleep over here at this church last night. They did end up having uh, a church gathering here last night. Parking lot filled up pretty good, actually. Um, but it was still pretty quiet. We really, really didn't have any issues. We were out, you know, in and out all day anyway and doing things around the RV, so weren't really paying attention too much to that. But today, before we leave this place this morning, I found an awesome attraction that I want to check out. It's only about 12 minutes from here. Sam and I have passed it, I don't know, probably a dozen times. And we're always like, yeah, we should really go there and check that out. So today, uh, actually last night, I found them on Groupon. And uh, I ended up buying tickets for both of us. And we're going to go check it out and uh, bring you guys along. This, this is a cool one. So make sure you stick around. This one's going to be pretty neat. All right, guys, we are officially here. This is the showcase of Citrus. And today, we're going to be jumping on one of these. And they're going to give us a tour of the whole entire place, the citrus. Yeah, and, free compost. That's yep, nice. Yep, you want some free compost for your RV or van? Yep. <laughs> you can put it wherever you want. The citrus over here, they're not on it, though. Yeah. Well, the trees are looking a little bare today, but they got a whole citrus farm. And they're going to give us a, a tour, and they have animals, and you can walk around. It's oh, gonna, yeah. should be a pretty cool time. All right, guys. We are here. Man, check out these monster truck buses they got. Those things are huge. I think the tires are as tall as I am. Not that I'm very tall by any means, but uh, they are ginormous. I can't wait to get out there. I guess we're going to go all out there and stuff and they'll take us. Let's go check out what else they have. All right, so I saw these two guys over here. They're working. They, I don't think they're getting much done, but I figured I'd try to lend my hand. Hey, do you guys need help with anything? Uh, looks like you're a little lost. Nice. It's one of those lucky fountains that you put money in. Let's see. Let's see if anybody's throwing money in there. I don't see anything, do you? Nothing. No hundred dollar bills. Nothing. Unbelievable. All right. So this is my catch of the week. Ah, it's still alive. Uh, don't don't let it fall. Things are sharp. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I'm gonna kick us out before we even get in there. Put your face in that one. You put your face in that one. The big, a big shark mouth. I think he has a cavity. <laughs> it's a beautiful. A few cavities. <laughs> he lost a few teeth. Yeah, he's he's not. You, you gotta you gotta lay off the drugs, man. <laughs> Meth is one hell of a drug. <laughs> they got a couple different animals in here. They got some emus, and then way in the back over there, I think you guys can see it. Uh, they have a little baby kangaroo. Milo. How did you get in this pen? <laughs> Come here, Milo. That is a fat pig. Holy crap. It flipped the whole bowl over and it's just eating the sand. Hello, Mr. Turkey. Thanksgiving will be here as soon as you know it, so you better be careful. This peg is ginormous. It has the whole feed bowl leaning against his head. He does not care. The Simpsons. The Simpsons are just chilling with the kangaroos, guys. And the emus. Oh, they got a, is that a wombat? Yeah, in the back. You guys see it by the by the house thing? He's uh looks kind of shy. They got a cool little retro trailer here. Let's see what this says. The camper's rocking, don't come a knocking. Amen. I need a sticker that says that. Do you guys see the resemblance? Huh? Maybe? Oh, wow. I guess this is their store. I can't do too much recording because they got copyrighted and music. She scanned our barcodes. 
At first she didn't. She tried charging me $50 for the two of us. Meanwhile, on Groupon, I only paid $28. We so. always try to, whatever area we're in and we want to do something, we always check Groupon first. Yeah, they usually have really good deals. So we bought a bucket of feed. This is for when we go on the uh, buses. You can feed all the bison and whatever else. And then Sam has a cup of feed. And that you can feed to all the smaller animals over here. Mr. Cow, you don't want some feed? No, you're just totally content. Oh, we got the, the jackass is coming. The donkey. Oh, the goat's pissed now. He was getting all the attention on the food. Oh, man. Screaming over there. He just spit that out. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, I he's, hope he's okay. This one's ready. Is that good? Oh. <laughs> Gave me the horns. Oh. Jesus. That was rude. Pooping right next to his food bowl. Look at the donkey staring. Like, really, Martha? Really, right there? <laughs> ah. Oh, I just want to give you a kiss. Yo, you are so rude. <gasps> you are rude as heck. No, screw you now. All right, we got a pineapple Dole Whip. And you can bring food and drinks and alcohol on the truck, on the bus, which is awesome. So we're going to... Sam wants to get a front row seat. Back in the day when you were cool, if you were cool, you you'd sit in the back, the away from the bus driver, so you could do things you know you weren't supposed to do. I feel like we'll get a better view if I sit in the front, because if someone in front of me is taller than me, I won't really be able to see anything in front of me. Oh, there's the oh. cow. Hi, Mr. Cow. So we're walking over here, we're gonna hang out. This is where you get loaded up onto the bus. I think we still have about 15 minutes. All right, guys. Whoops, excuse me, sorry. They got a nice little seating area over here, so you can wait. You don't have to stand there. We're gonna walk up here and get onto the buses. Look how big these things are. Holy moly! Now that's a schoolie. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well guys, what'd you think? The tour was really nice. Riding on that off-road bus was pretty sweet too. Sam, what'd you think? Had a good time. Um, so I purchased like a small cup of feed and then we bought the big one for the tour. But if you're gonna come here, just buy the big bucket because we hardly even used the bucket while we're on tour. Yeah, they only stop at like two three different places. I thought they were gonna like let you off and pet the animals and stuff, but you stay on the bus. And then they just have you like throw the food over the rail and stuff, which is still cool, but... I wish there was more like animals. Yeah. 
yeah it's, it's mainly groves they have you know cows and you guys saw all the stuff yeah but it was a pretty cool place yeah they had a good time and they have a really they have um, like a bar here and a lounge and you can just hang out and yeah this place packs chill. out at night now you know why because of the bar <laughs> yeah all right so we're gonna head back to the rv pack it up and head over to the west coast so i can pick up my freaking <laughs> my uh control board for my water heater so i'll see you guys probably when we get over to the west coast all right guys it's here so we're parked up i'll show you at a uh harvest host so the harvest host is right over there it's a brewery and they're gonna have live music tonight and food and drinks and all that good stuff there's another RVer on the other side of us. I'm not gonna show you him right now because they're outside. It's a sweet elderly couple. Um, but as soon as we got here, I parked the RV, dropped the car, and went and picked this up. This is our new control board. And as you can see, it says right on it that it's for the GC6AA-10E. And I checked it as soon as I picked it up. This one does have a chip in it, so it should work. <laughs> And I'm hoping it works and makes the electric and the gas work. But honestly, at this point, I will take one or the other because I just, I need a hot shower really bad. All right, let me, I'm going to jump in here, start taking this stuff apart. All right, so I pulled these two bolts out that hold the bottom and the top in, and it holds the actual circuit board in place. Next thing we're going to do, which you should probably do first, it would just be easier because it's held in place by the screw then, um, but you're... Just gonna disconnect this electrical cord right here, it just pulls out. Same thing with this top and bottom. And if you really want to be cautious, you can even pull the fuse on this um two this is a two amp fuse, and you can save it if it's good. And just in case it blows on a new one, you already have a spare fuse, so you'll be ahead of the game. But I'm gonna pull all these wires and pull this one out, and I'm gonna pop the new one in. Alright, so this is our new one. Nice new chip. This is gonna slip into where those prongs are. They also gave me new fresh hardware which is nice and here is the actual control board itself I'm gonna pull it out and then we'll see how identical it looks all right so here they are side by side this is the old one and this is the new one you can see more or less they are built pretty much the same the only difference is this one I'm guessing is the factory unit and the board is like soldered in to the you know control board itself whereas this one has these prongs because some um, water heaters have the connection where you just plug it right into the prongs. You don't need the chip. The chip it would be useless in some situations. But this one, you can see it has the white. It'll click into there and then we'll click our two wires into that. Still got our sparker wire. Um, two amp fuse is brand new. And then whatever little components these are. So I'm gonna pop it in, install it. It looks like it's the same mounting brackets too. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, so hopefully I don't have to drill any new holes. But I'm going to try to mount it up now and we'll see what happens. Alright, so she mounted up perfectly with the holes that lined up. I didn't have to drill new holes. The board clicked in. You'll hear it click. It has these little um, white tabs. So once you press this in, you'll hear click. You should try to hear it on both ends. So mine went in good. Now we're just going to hook up the spark arrestor. It just clicks in and you can... Put the boot back on there like that. And then when you install this, if your water heater is gas and electric, you're going to have two different um, clips, one and two. The shorter one, this is your electric on top. It's the smaller part of the board. That's going to go facing up. And you're going to take your connection and click it in. Okay, I didn't hear any click. I can't remember if I heard a click on the other one but it fits in well. All right, that's in good. That's in good. All right. All right, guys, it's on. I had to do it myself because Sam was busy doing something inside, but it just clicked on right away. Now you see that it's hiccuping a little bit. It's making some noise. A lot of people don't know what this is. This is a, I don't know the technical term, but it's like an aerator. So if you're in a really high altitude where thin, where air is really thin, you're gonna want more air. So you'll pull it back and you'll see the flame burn a little hotter and higher. If you're at low in altitude like we are, Florida has a low altitude, you're going to close it and you're going to hear it go a little bit quieter 
and you'll see that nice blue flame. See it? That's perfect. Fantastic. I couldn't be happier, guys. It has been a while since um, I've had hot water. I don't know, about five, four or five days now, so this is great. All right, I'm gonna close this because the open wind, it's very windy today, so it's kind of messing with the flame. But that's great that it's working, guys. 60 bucks compared to 260 from Camping World. All right, guys, so this is my app that tells me all about the solar, what's going in, what's coming out. Right now, we're at about 100% charged but we're still taking in 262 watts. It's starting to slow down now because you can see my voltage is 54.72. So we're we're pretty topped off just about. Um, but I'm gonna have Sam turn on the electric part and we're gonna see if this board was the electric part problem. The way we know it works is if she flips it, we're gonna see a spike in the power wattage. You're gonna see a negative number. All right, well, I guess the board wasn't the issue for the electric. I'm not really sure what the issue is. I don't know if the uh, element in the back is bad or what. Um, it's making like a buzzing humming noise. So I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more and see what'll cause that. But I'm just glad the uh, gas works again. At least now I can take a hot shower and uh, you know, you gotta take things with a grain of salt, I guess. All right, so I was doing some research I think what uh, went, went bad is the heating element because it's just not pulling any amps. It's supposed to pull around like seven amps or so um, when it's heating up. I, I just don't know if I if it bothers me that much and if I'd use it enough to make it worthwhile fixing. I don't know if down the line I'd fix it just to have it, but we don't really use it that much. You know, plus we boondock so much and I really wouldn't want to pull that much power from the batteries just to heat up water because it takes, a, it takes about a half hour with... Um, you know with the electric portion whereas with the heat gas it's like 15 10 15 minutes and you can go take a you know a hot shower so i just don't know if it's worthwhile to put in all that effort my water heater is right under here but i move all this stuff out of the way it's right back there with that white boxes you can see all the lines and stuff so changing the heating element wouldn't be too much trouble I'll see you down the line. But anyway, I'm just glad we have the hot water, the, the propane back, because that's primarily what we're going to use. And I, like I said, I really need a hot shower. You happy about hot showers? Oh, yeah. All right. Are you happy about hot showers? High five? High five for hot showers? Oh, he tried. You saw it. All right, guys. I'm going to put an ending on this video. We're going to make some dinner and hang out. And then tomorrow is another day, another vlog. I'll see you guys then.